If you're expecting a baby in the summer, these products will be your best friends. Stay tuned and I will share my tips and tricks as well as products for summer newborns. In case you're new here, welcome! My name is Karina. I'm a full-time mom. I have a daughter who is almost three years old. Her name is Mikaela, and I had a baby recently this summer. Uh, so we live in South Carolina and it's really hot down here and humid. So I had to figure out how to make my newborn comfortable in this weather. And here on my channel, I share my ideas, tips and tricks, experience to help you moms and dads have a little bit of easier experience with your motherhood and fatherhood journey. So if this sounds like something you could get a value of, consider subscribing, hit the bell icon, I post every single Thursday. And now let's get into those products, tips and tricks. So the first thing I wanna talk about, by the way, there is no particular order to those products, but something that I have laying right next to me are bibs. So your baby in the beginning is speeding up a lot usually and you want to have some kind of bib on them when you're out and about so that you don't have to change their clothes very often because either it's hot or cold you don't want your baby to be wet right so you want a waterproof bib but there are very different waterproof bibs out there so i went on amazon and got a whole lot of those look at them they're waterproof, but look at the back of them. They are super warm. This fabric is, is just, it's way too hot. It's perfect for winter babies, by the way, but summer babies, uh-uh. Don't buy those. The one you wanna buy is this one. So not particularly this one, but something like this. It's waterproof, but you see this kind of fabric, I'm gonna try and link everything I talk about down below for you, so you can check it out and this one I have left from my first daughter. She was not a summer baby, but I loved this kind of bibs and I still do. So the perfect thing about them, they're not gonna make your summer baby hot. And you want to look for a Velcro on the side because this is the easiest way to close the bib on your baby because those snaps, especially in the back, are very uncomfortable to deal with, especially when your baby is not holding their head yet and very tiny. Those bandana bibs are cool and cute, but you really want to go for a Velcro that is closing on the side, not even on the back. And you want that bib to be waterproof and you want it to be not hot material. You don't want your baby to be even more hot. So the next item I have laying around here is a muslin blanket. And I talk a lot about it on my channel because it's so versatile. It's super thin. So if you open it, I think you can even see through it. I don't know if you can tell it on camera, but it's super soft, super breathable fabric. You can use it as a nursing cover. You can use it as a burp clothes, as a cover or a blanket for a baby when you want to go inside like to a store let's say so it's very hot in the car and it's hot outside and you definitely want to put your baby in something very light and i will talk about it in a few minutes but then when you come inside the store let's say it's really cold inside and you always want to have something to cover your baby with the muslin blanket is a perfect option you can fold it you can have multiple layers and your baby will stay warm. The one thing I want to tell you, you shouldn't be using car seat covers or even covering your baby in the stroller in the car seat, even with a muslin blanket, for too long. Let's say you need to run on the very high heat sun or very bright sun from the car to the store. Yes, you can cover it a little bit and leave definitely some room for air to come in, but don't do it for too long because the temperature inside your baby's car seat or stroller still increases, even if it's a super light fabric blanket like this. So 
remember to don't be outside when it's hot so that you don't have to cover your baby for a long period of time and try to make sure they don't sweat because when they sweat they lose liquid and for newborns especially it is very bad news so that's about the muslin blanket let's talk about clothes so what i thought when i found out that i'm gonna have a summer baby i'm gonna buy a ton of onesies what a summer baby needs just onesies right it's hot outside but i didn't think it through so yes you can use onesies for when you go out and uh, also make sure that you or your partner goes and turns on the car before you put the baby in run that ac for as long as you can i know we don't have lots of time especially with babies but cars get really hot when they stay outside in the summer and you want to make sure your baby goes into a cool not overheated car so still it's hot so you want to put a onesie on yes it's a good idea but there is something better there are rompers with shorts there are rompers like this as a tank top and you see those snaps on the bottom they will cover part of your baby's legs so that car seat straps don't hurt them i figured that later on but i have all kind of rompers it's still warm out here so i do still use onesies and rompers there are those those are bigger sizes but my baby is really big so i've been using this one as nike six months size when he was like two months old anyways i really suggest you get rompers because uh, when you put your baby in the onesie in a car seat the hardness might feel uncomfortable because the legs are exposed and uh, there is no cushions on that part usually so those are very handy and very comfortable for them still very light and breathable also of course make sure to go for uh, some kind of fabric that is breathable like cotton for the most part but for the inside of your house uh, i forgot that while it's hot outside inside we have ac and we're trying to keep cool temperature as it's recommended you need to dress your baby warmer and then have them breathe cool air so for that reason you still need lots and lots of pajamas that are footed and lots of long sleeve onesies so i talked about it before in my most used newborn items two-way zipper pajamas oh my god those are the best i had already so many he grew out of all of them these are the last ones probably have to buy more so two-way zipper is when you have two zippers over here and then you zip one all the way up and then when you have to change your baby at night when you have to check their diaper like 100 million times <laughs> during the day to make sure they don't have uh, any poopy there to clean to make sure their sensitive skin is not gonna get any rash you open it just here on the leg and then you check the diaper and that's it you don't have to totally undress your baby you can open it on the bottom so whether you have a summer baby a winter baby fall baby spring baby everybody needs those so i just wanted to mention it here as well because i personally forgot that yes it's summer but i'm gonna need lots of long sleeve because my baby is mostly indoors with ac going and he needs to be warm especially in the beginning when he just came out from that warm mama's womb so next i have something directly related to the sun sun hat it's probably obvious but again something that i did not think of right away because i thought i won't be taking my baby outside in the midday right but there are times when you have to or like i said here in south carolina uh, the sun is very active anyways by the way if you don't know you should definitely look for the uv index in your weather app not just the temperature itself but you need to check how high is the uv uh, and try to avoid going out with your baby when uv is higher than like seven or eight uh, so the sun hat that has SPF protection is awesome. Those are from Amazon. My daughter has one in pink. This one I got for him in white. It's gonna fit him for a while. I love that it has its neck protection. It's adjustable. I love that. And it has this little visor straps 
perfect hat. Uh, for example, if uh, I walk with him when I carry him on me in the carrier, I definitely throw this one on because like I said, the sun is very active in the summer and I really thought that I probably won't need it in the beginning, but I ended up needing it. So get yourself one right away, won't regret it. Also, if you don't know yet, your baby is not allowed to wear sunscreen until like six months of age, consult with your pediatrician, obviously, but this is what my pediatrician told me, this is what I saw on the internet. So definitely try to don't expose your baby's skin to the sun hide it as much as possible. It is tricky in the summer because I said, don't, don't cover the stroller for too long and try to don't go out and the hat gonna make him actually sweat maybe a little bit, but we'll protect him from the sound. So it's, it's really tricky. Just try to find that balance and try to go for walks either early morning or late evening times. But there are a few other things that I wanted to share with you. And one of them is a fan. So there is this car fan I found on Amazon and it's just perfect because it's chargeable and it lasts pretty long. And at least in my car, it takes a while for AC to reach the back seat. And especially when the baby is rear facing, it's even harder to get that AC on you. So this fan was very helpful. You can clip it to like headrests in your car or maybe you can even hold it if uh, you need to like rotate it. It's, it's really nice. You can also get one for your stroller if you plan on going for walks a lot. And one more thing that you should consider having in your car is window shields. So there is a problem with mine. I didn't realize that my car has those little things in the windows that won't fit those particular shields that I bought, but they still work fine. There are lots of shields that cover just part of the window, but it really doesn't make much of a difference. You really want to get big window shields that will cover most of the window because the sun is always messing with their faces, <laughs> depends on the angle. It's still, those don't protect it as much as I would like to. Sometimes my baby is sleeping and I need to cover the sun from all different angles coming toward him. But pick the ones that will fit your car and you will never regret buying those. It really helps a lot, especially when newborns sleep in the car for the most part, at least mine does, and uh, you don't want them to be awakened by the sun in their face. If there is anything else you would like to add to my list of summer newborn must-haves, definitely leave it in the comments below. If you have any video topic suggestions for me, leave them also in the comments below. If this video was helpful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon. I post every single Thursday. And today I want to wish you have happy and healthy babies as always, and I'll see you next week. Bye.